Water Night was started um, to raise money for water school from the remaining community. And we have continued that tradition. Uh, what a lot of people don't really understand is, or don't realize, is that Water Night was the reason that NamesCon was founded. So uh, when Domain Fest uh, wasn't sure about their dates in January 2014, that's when we proposed NamesCon. And NamesCon originally was going to be a one-day event, and it would uh, be uh, you know, meals in the day and some sessions, and then a water night in the evening. And, that, and we'd have it coincide with CES and, um, and in, here in Las Vegas. And then one thing led to another, um, Jothan and Jody and I um, then expanded it to, to a full-fledged conference and Water Night just blew up and it was fantastic. So, but without Water Night, um, there would never have been a NamesCon. Well, I have the honor of speaking with Tony Woodruff, who's with us, a volunteer for the Water School, who I'm a very big fan of. Been involved in um, activities to raise funds for them for some time. Uh, had the opportunity to meet the original founders of it. And, uh, of course, Richard Lau, who's the NamesCon co-founder, is the executive director of the Water School, so everyone in our industry knows about it. I uh, just had an opportunity to meet Tony today here at NamesCon. He's from Vancouver, Canada, where Richard Lau also is from. But uh, Tony is, um, uh, plays a major fundraising role, the liaison between, for North American fundraising and the operations in uh, Africa, I think, primarily. One of the things that most impressed me about the Water School was how much of a difference you can make for such a small amount of money. There aren't too many charitable organizations who can take $50 and do with it what the water school does. Uh, I can't remember the exact numbers on it, but uh, $50 was enough to provide clean water for a uh, family of five, I think, or something like Actually, that. Actually, we've got it down to $33. $33 a for, for, and for an entire year of clean water. For, for life, actually. For li that, you're exactly right. That's what it was it, for life. But I thought for a year is pretty amazing, but that was the stat. And, and it's not really just about water. Water's the beginning. Mm -hmm. what, what clean water does is, first of all, cures a lot of disease issues, Absolutely. Um, which uh, probably along with malaria are the, are the main issues in East Africa. Mm -hmm. um, diarrhea issues, typhoid, cholera, uh, terrible diseases like that. With clean water, those, those are eliminated. So with clean water, children no longer get sick. Families no longer have to spend money on medicines, which is very hard to come by in a, in a rural setting. The children can attend classes, so they do better in exams, so they go further with their education, so they have better opportunities. And even for the adults, having their health and having uh, more time allows them to start creating micro-businesses. And we've seen that over and over again. I met a lady two months ago who'd bought a pig and she'd bred it with another neighbor now she's got piglets and now she has a big a business Great. another lady was um, taking uh, passion fruit and bottling it uh, she bought a, a small bottling machine and she's now selling her passion fruit juice in the capital city so from small beginnings come these micro industries and who knows where they go Access to clean water changes lives and transforms communities, but so many in our world don't have that. And Water School is funded by our community in a large part. So it's not that we can go on tomorrow and say, oh, some of will, they'll, they'll hold a fundraiser next month. This is the fundraiser for Water School. So it's not that we can pass the buck on to anyone. And so we are really pushing, really hoping, and really asking that everyone give. When you're at Water Night, we are going to be absolutely passionate about getting everyone involved because we're, we're looking for 100% participation by everyone. We're not all about the dollars, it's about the participation and everyone gathering together as a family and a community. We raised just under $30,000 at the door 
And then um, Name Cheap stepped in with a matching donation of, of the door pledges. So they came in and said, look, we'll, we'll write a check for 30000 um, and they are one of our co-title co sponsors, but they didn't make that decision until the dance floor. Um, yeah. I think it was probably one o'clock in the morning. Wow. Um, and then on top of that, we had the water shave. Half of your head shaved here. How did that happen and how did everything unfold last night? Right, so I um, agreed to shave my head and thought that I was gonna get rid of the whole thing. But then we were trying to get donations and people kept saying that they would pay for me to keep my hair. So then there was like a bidding war between people that wanted me to shave my head and people that wanted me to keep my hair. And we started shaving it. Um, Jothan put in $700, I think, for me to <laughs> shave my head. And then in the middle of getting half of it done, Elliot Noss from Two Cows, jumped in with a bid of like $2,500 and I kept the rest of my hair. He, he finished off the shave <laughs> and nice cleaned it up a bit and, um, and then I got to keep my hair. Yeah. So now I've got like this two-faced thing going on. <laughs> so six people um, stepped up, had their heads shaved and together they raised 35000 Wow. Um, and then there was some cash donations. So any, and then from NamesCon and uh, the Water Night sponsors is another fifteen thousand. If you look closely, it says this water saves lives. Um, so the net donation uh, from the sponsorship after we cover the cost of the bottles um, and uh, you know at the the net uh, just goes straight to water school. Like NamesCon does not make any money off that. And so yeah. you know together when you add that all up, we're roughly one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. And our goal was 50. Um, so, you know, and the stack of uh, pledge cards of people who participate has never been higher. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are new to the industry, new to, to NamesCon, and we wanted to let them know why um, we're doing it and, and all of the background. The goal was to sponsor 1,500 families being trained because it costs $33 to train a family. And instead, we're walking away with 3,500 families being trained and it's just you know everyone was donating it was just such an opportunity for them to be a, such champions my name's Tony Woodruff and I'm a volunteer with water school and part of my volunteering is to travel to Uganda regularly to monitor water schools progress and impact uh, eight weeks ago I was in Wakiso district in central Uganda that's in East Africa uh, right where the dot is at the end of the pointer there, just above Lake Victoria. I visited the home of a lady called Alice. Alice is very poor and lives with her four grandchildren, and that's one of her grandchildren in the place they live. The shady overgrown compound is often muddy from rain, and it's strewn with garbage. Alice is a humble, welcoming lady, but when I asked her to use her latrine, she was too embarrassed to let me do that. I saw human feces in her yard. There were many flies and it really smelled bad. These are very dangerous conditions for children to play in. And Alice told me that her grandchildren are often sick. Later that day, I visited a nearby home uh, where Florence and her family lived. And this is Florence with two of her grandchildren. They've been through the water school training program on clean water and sanitation and hygiene practices and have fully implemented it. Florence's latrine is clean and it's covered so the flies don't go from the poop to food. There is a tippy tap, a hand washing station made from sticks and uh, stones and string for washing hands. The yard is light and airy, and she even has a small garden with herbs and flowers in it. Florence has a bathing house with a door so they can bathe in private. Most importantly, Florence has a handmade rack with a dozen water bottles on it. Sitting in the sun, the water in these bottles is being disinfected. And water that was once contaminated and dangerous becomes clean and safe. 
The strong overhead sunlight, and remember this is on the equator, kills all the viruses and bacteria in the water. Water School teaches rural Ugandans how to transform dangerous living conditions like Alice's into beautiful safe homes like Florence's. And it all starts with clean water. People who have participated in our program know how to disinfect their water and how to keep their homes clean to prevent the spread of illnesses. Kids whose parents participate in the water school stop getting stomach aches and they don't have to spend the little money they have on medicines. The children don't have to miss classes. They pass exams and they have a better future. All this costs $33 per family. It really is day and night, from disease to hope. Tonight is water night, and it's a very special opportunity for NamesCon to come together and support a community on the other side of the world. Our goal is that everyone at Water Night gives something to ensure that we can provide access to clean, safe water and training for a better future to 20,000 families this year. 20,000 families, that's 100,000 people. $33 is all it takes to provide clean, safe water to a family in Uganda. And that's not just a one-time thing. That's clean, safe water for life. <laughs>